this video we're going to demonstrate the professional DMX512 decoder from our LED Technologies. This particular decoder is available in 3, 4 or 24 channel models. As you can see on the rear panel you have a DMX input on an XLR socket and an output. On the side of the panel we have an RJ45 connector for DMX in and DMX out. In addition to that there's a hardwired DMX terminal block on the front panel for DMX in and DMX out. The output side of the decoder is on larger terminal blocks which has a little plastic cover over the front. The power for the, for the DMX decoder goes on pins 1 and 2 which can be operated between 5 and 24 volts. The product that you're controlling goes on channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 in the case of the 4-channel decoder or the 24-channel decoder, you have additional channels on there as well. The V plus or common terminal gets connected to the end terminal on the right hand side. I'm now going to demonstrate how to set the DMX address using the dip switches on the DMX 512 Professional Decoder from LED Technologies. You'll notice there are 9 DMX switches plus a test switch on the end. The DMX address is set using switch 1 to 9. You'll notice that each DMX uh, switch has a value associated with it. So switch 1 has a value of 1, switch 2, value of 2, switch 4 has a value of 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 and 256. So to set address 65 you would put a switch associated with 64 down which is switch 7 and add switch 1 to it which has a value of 1 so the total DMX address there that you'd be setting would be 65. One more example to so set address 13 you could do this using a combination of switch number 4 which has a value of 8, number 3 which has a value of 4 which would give 12 and switch 1 which has a value of 1 making a total combination of 13. In addition to the DMX address switches you also have a test switch on the end. If you then press that switch and operate switches 1 to 9 this will enable manual selection of the various channels. In addition to that there are various fade and chase programs built into the unit details of which can be found in the manual supplied with the product.